My sister, Bella, thinks God overcame her dependence on cosmetics. We breathed a sigh of relief. Now she became smarter and made a list of things before going to shop. And every time she was telling us, I will take only what is needed. But when entering boutiques, she immediately forgot all about the list and ran to try on everything. She frantically repeated, I would only try it on. And what do you think? After these fittings, her bag swelled more and more. It seemed that the wardrobe was already packed to its full capacity. But she kept repeating, Oh God, I have nothing to wear. Further we go, it just goes worse. If she saw any sales, she just rushed to run there and found money even if borrowed from somebody. Also, her so-called exclusive things were her weakness. I recall one story that happened to her. Well, with us, she wanted exclusive Fendi shoes for $250 for a long time. They were very beautiful, of course, made of genuine leather. So she got the right amount of money and we came to the boutique. I only came to follow her. And as happens in the best films, another lady claimed to own those shoes. Here the real fight for exclusives began and no one wanted to give up. I did not notice how I became to support my younger sister. Even lengthy negotiations did not help to decide who would get these shoes. Aww. Their willingness to own these shoes was equal. Then the sales assistant approached, holding the same pair of shoes. We were stupefied and then started to laugh. <laughs> After all, how could it be exclusive? if there is still the other pair of the same shoes. Only then, Bella realized that she was no longer interested in these shoes. And her rival also changed her mind about purchasing them. After this incident, she stopped believing in something suspiciously cheap exclusive things. But she did not stop loving shopping. Bella could starve for several days trying to save money. And then she may bought a cute handbag or a beautiful scarf. Recently, I read the article that there is such a disease as oniomania, or as it also called, shopaholism. I told my sister that she was clearly suffering from this disease and should immediately recover. I explained her that because of this addiction, she could not date the good guys. Soon as they get to know her better, they just disappear, as if falling through the ground. And all the people around condemn her. It was scary to read the article but they write that it is worse than drug addiction. Bella, in turn, denies and convinces us that she is completely healthy. But you know what? Symptoms are the same, and it makes me scared. Recently, I accidentally saw her <gasps> diary with a list of her debts. They're approaching $3,000. Dear friends, could you please advise how to get rid of debts? Well, without notifying parents. Also, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.